these muscles, the legs and the hips and the, and the glutes and everything, the butt muscles, they are incredibly important muscles in your body for your movement, for your dynamics, for your life, incredibly important. But like the back muscles, people don't often think about them very mindfully. They just sort of assume, you know, they're there as you walk around, but putting mindfulness into those muscles, learning to really get in touch with the contraction and the expansion of those muscles, really important. Why? Well, lots of reasons. One of them is that it helps the blood flow get pushed through the legs and the hips and all the organs that are in here, which are very important. So hands on the mat. Right away, just focusing in on basic belly breathing. So I'm gonna let myself sink down. I'm gonna let my head feel like it's floating up and I'm gonna let the stomach expand on the inhalation and pull in on the exhalation. Gently through the nose, at your own rhythm. And every time you exhale, you're gonna sink just a little more, but not like a lot of movement, but the feeling I should say, sinking, just falling down into your feet. Breathing in, filling like you're filling a balloon, and then the balloon, you're pushing the air out of the balloon and it gets heavier. Breathing in, and now don't just think of filling the front of the stomach, but fill the sides of the hips out here. So it's, the feeling comes out this way. And then when you sink, let that feeling pour down like water being spilled through your legs into your feet, into kidney one. So the sinking of the body puts a bit of pressure towards the kidney one spot on the foot. Now you'll find that there's a point you can't go any lower physically. That's good. So that's the bottom. Now you put your weight forward. So just do this with me for a second, the mechanics of it. So I come down and there's a bit of a move forward to bring the weight to kidney one. And then I'm going to push up from kidney one, which means the front of my foot pushing up through the ankle and into the hip, rolling, just feeling rolling through the hip to come back up. And then back down. And then the final bit I'll add for the moment is the glute muscles, the butt muscles, and the muscles of the, the back of the thighs are squeezing and pushing up as you come up and then releasing. And that creates like the triangle essentially, right? The base of the triangle to the point, and the first point is the lower dantian. So put it all together, breathe in, fill the stomach, push up. Breathe out, release the air from the stomach and sink down with that rolling feeling from the feet to the hips, using all the musculature of the lower body. Now, one more thing I didn't actually. This makes sense, and you can feel this strength and the power of the push from these lower muscles coordinated with the breathing. Think of it like going up on a column, right? It's, just, it's going straight up and you're holding something. But within that frame, you can twist. And so that's when you get the straight line and the spiral coming together. So as I push up, I can do a little twisting between the hips and the shoulders here. And then I get to the high point and it holds there, and then I can spiral back down to something. There's a lot of range of dynamic within that. Three more. Breathe in, go up. And then release. Thank you. 